Tal Heinrich, spokesperson for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Tal, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure, Natasha. And it is remarkable. Nearly all of the more than 300 munitions from Iran were intercepted. Israel and its allies, including the U.S., intercepting about 99 percent of those drones and missiles. So the world is watching for Israel's next move. What can you tell us? What insight can you give us into the next step for Israel tonight? Correct. Um, you know, yesterday we witnessed the uh, evils of the Islamic Republic on full display when they launched over 60 tons, Natasha, 60 tons of explosives our way. As you uh, correctly reported, more than 350 drones, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and 99% of which we were able to repel and intercept, and not just alone, but with uh, international partners, including the U.S., U.K., France, and some regional partners. Uh, as we speak, by the Way, there is a seven year old girl from the Bedouin community in Israel who is still fighting for her life. She was severely injured um, from, from uh, you know, the, the, the debris uh, that fell from the skies. But if it was up to Iran, uh, had we not been as prepared as we were, you know, they tried to maximize the, the damage. The, the results could have been devastating. So, uh, to your question, uh, yes, deliberations are still underway in, in Israel. Uh, the war cabinet convened and will continue to convene. And Israel will make its own considerations. Um, be sure that this is not going to become the new normal of uh, over 100 ballistic missiles fired in our direction, um, attacks of this kind. It's not going to be a new normal. Our sense of security was shattered on October 7th with Hamas attack, and then on October 8th with another Iranian proxy attacking from the north, Hezbollah, and we are working to restore that sense of security. So there's not going to be any uh, taking of chances on, on our security, not when it pertains to Gaza and not when it pertains to Iran. Ask, is there any path where Israel does not retaliate, where the temperature can be lowered on this? Well, I, I'm not going to uh, discuss and, and speculate here on air, but uh, there are a lot of considerations that are being taken into account as we calculate uh, how we move forward. Uh, we also consult with our best friends, with our partners, uh, international partners. We take advice, we share concerns, uh, and, and, and so forth. But, you know, uh, there were times in, in history, from biblical times to modern times, when uh, there were people out there trying to annihilate us, as uh, the Ayatollahs of of Iran vow to do when they uh, say they want to wipe us off the map as, as they attempted uh, partially to do uh, just yesterday. And um, we are not going to allow that to happen. Now we're no longer uh, defenseless people, no longer stateless people. And and some 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 people out there in the world don't like it when Jews are fighting back. But 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 that's the fact. We cherish life. We love life. We educate our children accordingly. But we're dealing with death cults led yeah. by Iran and an axis of evil. And Tal, can I ask? We are seeing some of the far right voices in Israel tonight pushing for a very harsh response. I'm Israel's national security minister on today saying impressive defense so far now we need a crushing attack how forceful should israel's response be and would that risk a major escalation in this region so I, I haven't been following all of the voices coming out of, of, of the country and the government and lawmakers, but I think if there's one thing that uh, your viewers have to understand is that we have a war cabinet in place and a unity government in place, and there is a, a procedure uh, by which the, the, the heavy, big decisions are, are taken. So um, yes, uh, everyone is entitled to have their own opinions uh, in our country. We're a free country. We don't have a constitution, but we're committed to the principle of the First Amendment. But um, the, the the heavy decision making, uh, if it's the, the IDF press and, and if it's uh, the government, um, they have a procedure by which they are accepted. All right, Tal Heinrich, I always appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.